I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Does the Size of Particles Affect Osmosis? Okay, so the answer is generally yes. Let's go over a couple of examples. So first, let's say we have a membrane. It could be a cell membrane or any type of biological membrane. And it's going to have these pores. And so your particles are going to travel around and try to match with the pore that they fit into. And so in this case, size does affect osmosis, but not that much because basically every particle is just going to have its specific pore that it fits into. Once it finds it, it'll just go in there. So that's an example where it does affect it, but um, it's not linear. It really depends on who fits where and how. And so the other example is more of a straightforward answer where, yes, the size of particles does affect osmosis. And this is because you have a general rule of uh, big, heavy particles moving slower. So if we have a typical osmosis setup where we have a water level, and this is with a semi-permeable semi membrane, that's a tongue twister, And we have some impurities. Let's say in this case, all the impurities can go to the left, but never the right. So after a while, you're going to have your water level rise up here and lower here as all the impurities get over here. And in this case, particle size would affect osmosis because uh, bigger particles just move slower. Remember, this is all done through natural diffusion, just seeing, you know, this particle will eventually travel over here and then it can't get back, and that eventually filters it and causes osmosis. Uh, and so if you have a particle that's moving slower, the whole process will move slower. So in this case, yes, particle size does affect osmosis. It makes it go slower. In this case with the membranes, it does affect it, but it's not quite the same as something like this. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Does Particle Size Affect Osmosis?